Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you have a wonderful day. Okay, this week is going to be a little sketchy. I apologize for that. My schedule is beyond um, busy, so I'm doing my best. Okay, all right, for Thursday, um, I'm going to throw clarifiers. I think that uh, it may be a little challenging. I'm going to say this if there is something that you know you need to work on, something that you've avoided, some kind of responsibility that you know you should take care of, uh, financial uh, relationship, whatever, you're going to want to put the work in because I really get the feeling from this that there's something that uh, there's going to be some kind of karmic backlash. This is something that's been an ongoing uh, situation, something that you know you need to tend to or take better care of or do in a different way. There's something that needs attention that if you avoid it, it's only going to get worse. So that'll apply different for everyone. But if there's something you need to let go of to, to come at in a different way, look at in a different way, you're going to want to approach it uh, and not kind of bury your head because I think it's going to, it's going to, I think it's going to come to a place where it's not going to be able to be, it's going to have ramifications, I guess, is where I'm going with that. Okay. We come in with the energy of the high priestess. Okay. And I think really what she's showing up in for here is to just tell you to use common sense here. Okay. Um, really just do the things that you know you need to do and, um, It may be something, too, that's, that you just know internally that you need to do, but that you've been avoiding in some regard, okay? Because we come in with the Nine of Swords, crossed by the King of Coins, and our outbound card is the Devil card, okay? So I'm going to say with the Nine of Swords crossed by the King of Coins, If there's something that you need to come to terms with, this can be a positive if you handle the responsibilities that you're supposed to. If you don't and you avoid them, I really think there's going to be some kind of financial loss here. Um, there may be loss of a relationship here. Um, I think the devil card is really just coming in to say, you know, just own your stuff, take your responsibility back, uh, take your responsibility and just, you know, balance things out here. I think with the king of, of coins here crossing, uh, and he's looking right at the devil card here, the, you're going to need to use your, your common sense here. There's karma in this reading, so that's why I know that there's there's something that we don't just get it. It's energy in and energy out is what karma is. So this is something that, you know, maybe your spending needs to be critiqued. Maybe, uh, you know, you're feeling, you know, sad or depressed or you've cut yourself off from uh, life. You're being asked to really, you know, take responsibility here for whatever this is. Okay, the devil card can mean many different things, but let's just get some clarity here because that was a pretty broad statement. But it's going to be different for everyone. This is not going to be something that's new. This is going to be something that you know you need to take care of. And if you've been taking care of it, it shouldn't be so bad. The nine of swords can actually just be a different way of thinking about something, right? Like you're not going to think about this this way anymore. You're going to do something about it. That could absolutely be what it is. But I don't think so. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We've got the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Eight of Diamonds, which is the Eight of Coins. Okay. So this is in reference to finances. 
if you've been avoiding, I do not know where I'm getting this, I apologize. If you've been avoiding uh, child support, you want to catch up on that because that's going to bite you big here and that could possibly be for someone. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, I think you could be thinking about taking on more responsibility, doing more. Um, the two of wands is making a bold move, right? It's, it's being at a crossroads here. And with that nine of swords, I could absolutely see what that is. With the ten of cups, it's, you know, it's something in your day-to-day. -day. It's something uh, on your home front. It's something that, that again, it's a ten, so it's it's been here for a bit, all right? And you've got the eight of coins here, which is about harmony in your life, but it's really working at something. So, um, again... You're really being asked to take responsibility, do the things that you're doing. I think that you are. These clarifiers absolutely show that you are, but I want to see why the devil is showing up here too. I think you are financially really working at something. I think that though too, this this may be one of those scenarios where maybe you're working too much and you're not home enough. It could be something like that too. Um, and someone is, is at a crossroads here. Okay, let me see why the devil's here. Okay. All right. Oy. Okay. We've got the Ace of Wands. We've got uh, the Joker card, which is like the Fool. And we've got the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords shows up to clarify the Devil card with the Fool card and the Ace of Wands. <laughs> if you, uh, this is a card too, if, if indiscretion is something that you know you need to work on, you're going to want to do that because this is something with the High Priestess coming in here, the Devil card and the Nine of Swords, it's something that's going to come to light. So you want to deal with that um, because again, I said I felt from there's karma in here somewhere. So it's going to be something that you're going to want to pay attention to. Something just led me to believe that the, the, the devil card in here today was not, uh, not what it normally means for me. The nine of swords is you're, you come to a stark realization about something. If you've been thinking that there's something going on under the surface, you may want to check it out being whatever end of this coin that you're on. Um, but if you're the, you know, I'm just warning, if this is a scenario where you're kind of doing things like that, this is not the transit that we're going through right now that you want to uh, continue to do that. One, because there's massive karma here, and two, because you're going to get caught. So um, I wish I had a better reading, but but this is what it is. The energies that, that, that we're dealing with in these eclipses, they're bringing out all kinds of things like this. So there are things that we know we should have dealt with, but if we don't take responsibility for them, they're going to be brought to light and not in a, in a pleasant way. So I apologize, guys. Hopefully Friday's reading will be better. OK, this may not pertain to you, you know, so if it doesn't, don't get all riled up. If your relationships are fine, <laughs> leave them be. These are things, like I say, that have been going on for a while. So they're things that you're uh, aware of that you should either be doing or not doing. But but again, there's going to be karmic backlash here. So depending upon where you are, um, It'll be a good day or a or a not so pleasant day. Okay. I hope I helped you in some way. If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you. Okay. Thank you.